School buses set on fire and officers say the same vandal broke into an ATM right after that. And you can see this was all caught on camera. Two crimes in the middle of the night in Citronelle. WKRG News 5's Megan Mackey shows you more of that surveillance video and tells you how long the vandal spent on that ATM before leaving with nothing. He knew what he was doing. He came prepared and he knew he'd done it no, before, okay. you know. A suspect on a mission to break into an ATM outside a convenience store off Highway 45 in Citronelle. The entire thing caught on surveillance video shortly after 3 o'clock Thursday morning. And I've been in this location 15 years. Never, no crime, no robbery or nothing breaked in or nothing. That's the first time I ever seen like that. The suspect tried to break into the machine for about 30 minutes before giving up. The crime shocking for the small community, but police say the most surprising thing was what the suspect did before, setting three buses on fire at nearby McDavid Jones Elementary School. We're working on the angle that this was a distraction to be able to uh, pull all our assets to the south end of our jurisdiction while they attempted to break into the ATM at the north end of our jurisdiction. A one-man job, but police say he did not get away with any cash. The store owner tells me he believes whoever did this knew exactly where the cameras were because when he came to do the job, he parked behind a nearby business, walked through these bushes, then came here behind the gas station building where there's the breaker box. Here, that's where he broke into it and flipped off the switches, thinking the cameras wouldn't capture anything, but little does he know, they caught it all. He didn't turn it off the camera because camera hooked up to the different breaker. You know, he can reach that. A maintenance worker for the ATM says whoever is responsible had done something like this before. He knew what to take off and get out of the way that didn't have anything to do with money. So he wanted to get that out of the way and get working. Police are looking into leads and are asking anyone who might recognize this man to come forward. Reporting in Citronelle, Megan Mackey, WKRG News 5.